Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to graph sine functions with fractions. Now, if you've been working in trigonometry for a while, you'll know that oftentimes trigonometry uses a lot of fractions, especially when it comes to radian form, because radians, when you express them angles in that way, are often in fraction form. So when it comes to sines, it's very similar. So first and foremost, we're going to create an xy chart of the sine function y equals sine of theta, and we're going to use radians to illustrate our point, and we're going to do 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. Now you're going to plug in every single one of these, and remember x can be thought of as theta if you like, and so sine of 0 is going to be 0, sine of pi over 2 is going to be 1, sine of pi is going to be 0, sine of 3 pi over 2 is going to be negative 1, and sine of 2 pi is going to have the same value as 0, which is going to be 0. Now when it comes to graphing it, the idea works like this. What we're going to do is mark these, label these, and this gives you one cycle of the sine function. So 0, 0, Pi over 2, 1 is going to be like so. Pi 0 is going to be like this. 3 pi over 2, negative 1 is going to be just, I would say, roughly about here. And then 2 pi is going to be 0. And then you're just going to graph like this. But understand, of course, that the graph does continue, so sometimes people will extend the graph using dotted lines to show that the graph does continue, it doesn't actually end. So as long as you follow this particular strategy and understand that radians oftentimes employ fractions, you should be fine. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's how to graph sine functions with fractions.